Hello everyone, Merhaba, it's me, Leslie, again, here in Tokat, Turkey. Today I'm making this video because I want to talk a little bit about eating a vegetarian style diet in this part of the world. So uh, I started out um, as eating a vegan diet. Uh, I arrived here in late August, uh, around August 25th, and uh, I came as a person that wanted to eat a vegan style diet. However, that quickly turned into um, a vegetarian diet. Um, it, it, it was super hard for me to continue eating my uh, vegan style diet. Why? Um, because initially I didn't want to be impolite by um, turning down the food that was being offered to me. So. Um, it was super hard for me, to be honest. Um, I, in, back in America, when I was there for just a couple of months after returning from Indonesia, I uh, was afforded the uh, ability to go to the supermarkets and pick out the vegan pizzas, and I was checking out the labels on the back of the boxes, and it was just something, I was just in a comfortable location in which I could do those types of things and eat exactly the way I wanted to eat, or eat the way I wanted to for the most part. But after I um, got to this part of the world, uh, Tokat, Turkey, I quickly realized that it would be super, super difficult to eat the way that, um, uh, that I was trying to, uh, the, the vegan style. Um, I almost feel like a failure, but uh, you live and you learn, you know? Um, so I got here and I was being offered a lot of foods, such as chorbas, uh, and the chorba is just uh, the word for soup here in Turkey. Uh, I was offered uh, maybe some kind of um, yogurt chorbas, um, yogurt, yogurt chorba, and just various other things that I had no idea uh, had any type of dairy products in it, or no idea had any type of egg in it, or no idea had minced meat in it. Uh, I remember um, I had this chorba and it had mince, uh, it had um, pureed red meat in it. And um, after I ate it, I'm, um, people were chuckling and I was curious as to why and my friend said, oh, um, they just told me that this had pureed um, red meat in it. Um, I was devastated because I had been trying so hard to eat a certain way um, and I would hope and I and I hoped that people would let me know um, knowing that I was a vegan vegetarian or uh, vegetarian <clears throat> knowing that I was a vegetarian I was hoping that people would you know <laughs> make me aware that there was meat in it, in the food, but, but instead uh, people laughed. Um, uh, it really hurt my feelings, this, uh, the past situation that had happened. Um, so um, I decided to not be too um, sensitive about it. Uh, people in different parts of the world, um, Sometimes so, uh, people in other parts of the world don't really understand uh, why somebody would want to not eat meat or uh, want to eat such a, a, a diet, such as um, vegetarian diet or vegan diet. Uh, however, people in America even, some people don't understand why people would want to eat that way. Um, however, um, uh, I had only been used to people just respecting um, how I felt about the situation, but here uh, people laughed at the fact that I had accidentally eaten some meat. So I decided to start um, bringing my own lunches. Um, uh, I, I also decided to go from vegan to vegetarian because um, it's just so much harder here to be so strict about my diet. Um, uh, when I go back to the states, I'll uh, I, I'll consider um, reverting back to vegan style. Um, also, eating vegetarian here is really wonderful because the food is so 
fresh. Um, there's something called the open market here. Uh, I think it's typically called pazar or something along those lines. Pazar in Turkey means Sunday. Um, but uh, it's called a pazar or something around um, there. Uh, and it's about, um, and, and on Sundays, there'll be the pazar and um, people will go there and get all types of fresh fruits and vegetables for very cheap prices. I mean very cheap. Say um, five kilos of potatoes for four Turkish lira. Four Turkish lira, uh, the conversion rate right now is um, one dollar is equivalent to uh, two dollars and uh, two, um, to 82, 2.82 Turkish lira. One dollar to every 2.8 to Turkish lira. So imagine um, five kilos of potatoes um, for Turkish lira. Um, it, it, you can get like so many inexpensive things here, and it's just so cheap um, when you go to the open market on Sundays. I get tomatoes. Um, two kilos of tomatoes for one Turkish lira, I get um, one kilo of apples for uh, one Turkish lira, I get so many things for so cheap here. So, uh, as a vegetarian in Tokat, Turkey, um, even though I'm judged a lot here by being a vegetarian, because people just, most people here don't understand why I'd want to not eat chicken or red meat or uh, anything like that. Um, I can find really, really fresh, delicious uh, vegetables, and it, they're really inexpensive. So um, I really like that about uh, living in this part of the world. I feel uh, super healthy. I will totally regret going back to um, Chesapeake, Virginia when I leave here because the I've never tasted vegetables so fresh. Um, when I was in Indonesia, I tasted super fresh vegetables as well. And here in Tokat, Turkey, it's similar in that sense. Um, the vegetables are cheap and they're delicious. Anyway, um, I, I haven't had too many um, uh, bad experiences uh, when it comes to buying um, buying vegetables or anything like that. And uh, Besides people laughing at my food choices sometimes or just not really understanding them, um, uh, things have been okay. Uh, being a vegetarian or vegan here in Tokat, Turkey is super hard. Um, it's, it's a challenge um, because many people don't really understand why a vegetarian or vegan would eat uh, the way that they eat. However, um, we are living our own lives and um, I guess that's that. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, what I've had to say. Uh, thank you so much, and until next time, goodbye.